Hey there, fellow Chuckin friends. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everybody. It's Megan Maria, your independent chocolate tort designer. Happy Friday night. How oh, is everybody? Hey, Debbie. Hey, Carol. Sorry, I'm a little late. We got home late from the fundraiser, and I uh, had to eat <laughs> something. So I apologize for being later than normal. Um, but we have a really cute little VW bus to make here tonight because you guys picked your project for the evening. Thank you. You know, it's kind of like when you say to the husband, honey, what do you want for dinner? <laughs> and you get whatever you want to make. <laughs> you guys are always so nice to me. But sometimes when he says, I want hamburgers, it just makes my life easier. <laughs> so thank you for saying, hey, Let's make our cute little surf club, because we're going to make our cute little surf club. I'm trying to get your comments up so it's easier for me to see, plus then I know um, who's all here. So thank you for uh, giving me a minute to get that up. But hey, Aunt Josephine, welcome from California. Eh? My boys are stealing my internet tonight. Can you tell? So I can't get your comments yet. My, my phone still doesn't even think I'm live, and I've been live for a bit. So I'm going to give it a minute. Oh, there we go. I'm going to give it a minute, and let's get started. Ready? So, we're doing Surf's Up. Well, it's called Surf's Club, is the technical name of the transfer. Um, and you California A people, this is going to be a fun one for you. Because, you know, in my mind, you guys surf. <laughs> right, Aunt Josephine? <laughs> I can see you out there on that surfboard, Aunt Josephine, right in the waves. Yeah. Okay, that's about the as much energy as you're getting out of me tonight because I was late night chalking last night and it's been a crazy busy day today. So, hey Lisa, hey Cheryl, thank you for sharing already. Cheryl, I haven't even have it up there yet to say, hey, please share my video. Oh, and thankful Thursday. That was yesterday, right? <laughs> yesterday was Thursday. Thankful Thursday's video, I think, is at six or seven shares. I looked earlier today. So, when we get to ten... We can have some fun with that one. So let's get to 10 with uh, Thankful Thursday and we can play our game for some fun things. But tonight we're doing Surf's Club and I really debated about what surface to do this bad boy on because, yeah, Aunt Josephine, I totally can see you on a surfboard. <laughs> I've seen you float around a pool in a lake, Aunt Josephine. I can see you on a uh, ride in the waves. My very first experience with the ocean was with Montina at Newport Beach in California when I was younger, much, <laughs> when I could wear a bikini. <laughs> I was much younger <clears throat> and gravity had not taken a hold of anything at that point. But yeah, I, and there were people, well, maybe not surfing, maybe I don't remember, but this VW, this cute little VW bug was probably popular back then too. That's how, you know, ancient I am. Okay, I'm not ancient, but I'm not. I need to stop. I need to stop doing that, right? I'm not old. I need to stop feeling, telling people I'm old, because I'm really not that old. <laughs> I just, you know, maybe that's all. I got a kid going to college, so I feel old. But I have an eight-year-old, right? So how old can I really be? Old. So I am cutting our beautiful transfer apart. I did do a little investigation. For comparison this afternoon of ways we could make this because I just think it's super cute and there's so many other transfers that our adorable little bus can go with that's why I kind of you know I like the palm tree I like the surf club I like the surfboard I really like this and if you were born in 1969 you gotta own this transfer some of us are close we we're a little younger than <laughs> 1969 a little bit the other way um but if you were born in 69 super cute hey cheryl robin robin cheryl hey terry oh my gosh the maybe i should go later more often everybody the whole gang is here um okay so the super cute bus so i think adventure calling is what this bus screams to me right and there are so many adventure transfers like Blessed are the curious, for they shall seek adventures, or shall have adventures, with the little bus. I mean, right? There's just so many cute things. And I think, I, I really kind of feel like a broken record sometimes, because I kind of say the same things over and over again, but that's really how I feel. 
on a pillow, right, in boys' bedrooms, on um, a beach bag, really, to go to the beach in California. And Josephine, I can see you slinging this bag over your shoulder and off to the beach you go. <laughs> we need to make this, Aunt Josephine. I should make this and send it to you on a beach bag. All right, so anyway, I debated on surfaces because of the size. So this is the Grayson chalkboard. And this is the big one. So I think this one is 16 by 20. Yeah, 16 by 20. It's really not 15 by 20. Um, so this is a really nice, I love, this is a chalk couture chalk. Say that five times fast. This is a chalk couture chalk board. And they're really nice. This, uh, they're made for the transfers. They wash super well. They're just a very nice value for a transfer. I bought a lot of uh, chalkboards at Michaels. I'm not, I, don't, I have many from Michaels that I like just as much because of their surface. But there are some I definitely don't. So um, this chalkboard in this size is... I'm not even going to speak because I'm going to tell you the wrong price and I don't want to tell you the wrong price. This Grayson chalkboard is it's 12 and a half by 18 and a half. Wow, did I have that size wrong? Apparently I can't measure. Oh, I did the chalk. I did the frame, the actual chalkboard. Okay. It's $29.99. In the 9 by 12 size, which is the other size I have here, which is definitely a B size transfer size, it's $19.99. Um, and I would say that's very comparable for me to the ones I buy at Michael's cost-wise. I do like them better. The, again, there's a few caveats of the Michael's chalkboards that I do like. But when you're going to go to, if you are not going to buy a chalk couture surface, and you're going to go to someplace else, um, just really pay attention to the actual quality of the board, the chalk board. Um, because that's what makes your transfers take a beating if you're going to use them a lot. So this transfer or this chalkboard, I think we need the big one. I was, it fits really cute. This is the same exact chalkboard, only nine by 12. It, it fits in this guy, but you pretty much just get the bus. And I think for our first attempt at our cute little bus, you know, we need, we need the palm tree, right? We need the surf club. We need, we'll make it the way it's meant to be made. And then we'll play with it, I think. Because I really do think he's going to be super popular. As I, I know he's super popular because everybody's making him. So we've got some palm trees. We've got this cute little three pieces of a bus. Which we're going to have to figure out the order of the bus. And then we have surf. So the bus would, in theory, be this big, right? So we'll have a cute little bus. And then we can do, we'll put the little surfboard on him, we'll do a surf club, and we'll do an original. We'll do it, let me get rid of that so you can see. We're going to do it the way it truly is meant to be made tonight. Hey, Verge, welcome to our chalk and parte. Hey, Jan, hello, everybody. Happy Friday night. Sorry I'm a little bit late. We had an amazing fundraiser tonight for those crazy kids that uh, um, are going to Globals, and uh, it was so much fun. And they, they did their presentation of what's gotten them this far and they were I mean they they had to write the whole thing uh acted uh, it's just it's amazing they just did an amazing job so I'm so proud of them they and their parents should be so proud of them because not only did they do all you know get to globals but they are fundraising a ton of money okay they need a ton of money to go and um the kids are doing it that's I'm so proud of their parents even I mean the kids are doing it which I think is just, it's nice. They, sh they should do it, right? This is a lot of money. Okay, so I think we're going to just do some fun colors because um, I'll probably put this in my boy's bathroom. I, oh, good. Hope it made lots of money. I do think. I think they, between all that, this and all the other things they've done, I think they, they're to that point now. They're pretty close. They still have two weeks to raise money, um, but I think they've got... They're, they're pretty darn close if they're not there. But they really, I mean, it was crazy how much money they needed to raise. And they had like three weeks to do it, four weeks. They didn't have a ton of time. 
So kudos to them. They've done a fantastic job. So it did run a little bit late for, and so that's why I'm a little late. Well, and then I had to pick up Ella. You really wanted my whole life story, don't you? But I had to pick Ella up for volleyball. <laughs> she went to volleyball, at the volleyball try it clinic this evening to see if she's gonna like volleyball. And she came home loving volleyball. So that's good. I so I opened up my paste containers over my chalkboard. And as usual, all my dried up chalk that's on the edges of the chalkboard, all these little schnibbly chalk pieces fall off onto my chalkboard and then I have to get them out. What you would say to yourself is, Maria, you do this every night. <laughs> Maria, <laughs> maybe, Maria, you should be smart and open up your chalk containers over the garbage can. <laughs> right? You would think. Oh, as I'm feeling this, where are my hangers? Ha! We almost made this bad boy upside down. Naughty, naughty. Okay, so we've got some little busting to go. I do think I want to put some red on here, even though my boy, these are the colors of my boy's bathroom. Although it's really probably more orange peel than marigold. We're going to go orange peel. Um, I love marigold because it's super bright. I mean, this is really a pretty color, but this is really more the color of their bathroom than marigold. So we're going to switch that out. And I'm going to wash this up before. So I did a um, something I've never done before last night while I was late night chalking. So I will share with you what I did so you don't make the same mistake. I ruined the transfer. And I should have known better. You know, it was one of those I was just rushing and I should have paid better attention. And I will show you what I did here. Um, and of course, it's my favorite brand new one. I didn't ruin it completely. It was somewhat savable. I worked on it quite a bit today to save it. Um, it just won't ever be the same. <laughs> it's mad at me. All right, so these are the colors we're going to use because this is literally my boy's bathroom. Um, these colors. Now, in theory, one has an orange towel, one has a blue towel, one has a green towel. They're not supposed to, sh you know, they're not supposed to use each other's towels. That's how I know whose towel is on the floor, who didn't hang up their stuff because of the color mm -hmm. until we had Charlie. <laughs> Charlie just feels everybody's towels. Then he can get everybody in trouble and then he doesn't get yelled at. <laughs> he uses his brother's towel and he leaves his brother's towel on the floor. His brother gets yelled at. He's a very creative child. I am rambling away. All right, and I still don't have any chalk down. So, we need to look at this bus. Where'd my wheels go? On the floor. Crazy, Maria. All right, so we're gonna need, we can't do black wheels because it's a black board. So we'll probably do the wheels in Storm, I'm thinking. We gotta figure out the three pieces to the bus, what order they go in. And I'm thinking first, second, third. And I'm going to write on them the number. So I'm going, I always like to do the one with the most screen first. Second, which is probably wrong in theory, I suppose. I don't think with these particular pieces, it really matters which one you do first because they don't really overlap each other but they do get kind of close. So I'm gonna do this one first. We're gonna try this piece first. Um, sometimes the transfers have numbers on them so you know what order, but this one doesn't, which is unusual. So we're gonna do our palm tree and parakeet, which is our green. Do you think we can do the bus in orange and blue? I don't know much about the retro VW, but would orange and blue be bad? And then we could do surf, and then we could do a red um, surfboard? What do you think of that? Orange and blue? Now this is just the colors of their bathroom. It doesn't mean that we can't use other colors. I'm not, I'm not opposed. So I'm open to options, ladies. What colors would you like to see your bus in? I don't, I think from a retro color, not that we have to do it in retro, but if we were trying to do a retro bus, we would do the colors. But, and then we need this one. So Debbie says orange and blue. Okay, thank you, Debbie. We're going orange and blue. So I'm gonna just stir these guys up. Maybe we should play a game tonight. Kinda in the mood. 
I've done so much tracking in the last two days. I'm kind of in the mood to play a game. It's been kind of fun. It's been kind of fun with the new transfers to, you know, make things that I've been thinking about making and wanting to make that I haven't made. Okay, so I'm going to undo what I just did, and I'm going to slowly put these little caps on so that I can keep them from drying out. Okay, Verge says, I seem to vaguely remember bright yellows, oranges, and blues. Okay, perfect. Carol says, the bus is actually green back in the day. Ooh, what color? Like, a. see, I picture this couture teal green. The 70s was all about orange mm -hmm. and avocado green. Oh, we have a, um, an avocado y kind of, green. We could use garden herb. But that's not the color of the bathroom. Not like I would know. <laughs> Back in the day, Carol. <laughs> Carol, this could be any one of us. I'm just going with that. Any one of us could have a, owned a VW bus. I didn't say if it was vintage or not, <laughs> but any one of us could own one. <laughs> All right, so we're going orange. We're going orange and blue with the bus. Red with the surf club, the <laughs> surfboard, surf club, original green. So we need colors for these. Oh, sorry. You guys are. We need colors for these two, but we can figure those out as we go. The bus is really the bigger issue. So I think we should do that. If the 70s were all about orange, we should do the bus, the main, because this is a lot of screen compared to a little screen. We'll do the lot of screen in orange and the little screen in blue. Okay, top of the micro bus was white. Ooh. White. Yeah, so I would have an avocado green. Okay, so I'm not opposed to doing it in orange and white. Ooh, that might be cool. We could put the we could make the we could make the words blue then, and that would bring in the colors of their bathroom. Should we do that? Let's do that. Maybe we should do that. We'll do the top of the bus in white, the bottom of the bus in orange, gray tires because the black tires aren't going to show up on the chalkboard, and um, we'll do the words in blue, and the palm tree in green. Hey Donna, welcome to our Friday night chucking party. We are going surfing today, Donna. Donna made the most beautiful um, peacock. <laughs> I'm trying to think what the name of that crazy bird is. The most beautiful peacock today. She has been busy chalking. All right, so I think we'll probably have to do this. Or the, I mean, we don't want it. It can't be all lined up in a row. That Goodness, that would be boring. All right, so we're doing orange and white for our van. Blue surf club. Blue original. Gray tires and parakeet, and then it will look amazing in my boys' bathroom because this is so the story of the boys' bathroom. I make a lot of signs for the boys' bathroom that never go in the boys' bathroom <laughs> because I keep changing my mind about what to put in their bathroom. But I think this one's gonna win. I make a lot of navy blue signs that I sell or give away, and I never end up with a navy blue bathroom sign, which they think is hysterical. So I think. I think we gotta we I, we don't want our stuff all in a line you don't write on the back oh thank you carol i did not you're right carol i didn't write on the carol thank you for keeping me in check i did not so this is the number one so if you if you number the front of your transfer you can just put the number on but i'm off I, i'm as i'm sure you can all tell about me i'm so organized <laughs> and anal i am going to write um base of the van I do that because when people come here and they use all my stuff, then sometimes people don't think like me. <laughs> Shocking! Normal people live in the world and don't, don't think like me. All right, so so what I did last night, and I'll share with you as I'm putting, getting all of this air out of our cute little bus, um, I made a major mistake, and it was a rookie mistake, too. I should have known better, but I didn't. And I have it here. I don't have the transfer here because I, I, I saved it, but then I used it again this afternoon upstairs. But um, when you buy a surface that's not a traditional chalkboard and it's not a chalk couture surface, be very careful of what it's made out of. You know how I talk about waxing and fibrous boards and ruining your transfers? Um, 
And I watched my upline, my friend Sarah, I watched her do the same exact thing not that long ago. So I was kind of like really like, duh, Maria, I can't believe you did this. But I was using our very favorite, my very new favorite, flower market trees. I got these super cute little bins I was going to stick flowers in. They were inexpensive. I bought them at, uh, I don't know, TJ Maxx, I think. And look at what happened. So see, it's painted, but when I pulled my transfer off, it pulled all the paint off of the surface. And you know where that paint is. <laughs> that paint is on the back of my transfer. And it doesn't come off. I soaked it overnight, just because it was my attitude was it was ruined already anyway. Um, so I soaked it overnight, and I was able this morning to scrape the uh, paint off of my backer. I thought I had it down here. I really thought it, but I must, I think it's upstairs. I would show it to you. I did get it off. It's lost most of its stick. Now I did use it again after today, after I got the paint off of it, I did use it again. I was super careful because it wasn't really necessarily stuck down like I like them stuck down. But you have to be very careful when you buy things that have a paint, any kind of paint on them. Because, I mean, the ink, the, the chalk went through beautifully, the screen. It's when I pulled, here, let's see, let's do this way. It's when I pulled the screen off, it took all of that paint with it. Now, this is not a complete loss because I will sand it off. And I'll make it look just more distressed and vintaged. Then I will seal it and I will chalk something else on it. Um, the other one I have not chalked, I will take back because I don't want to risk it. But it is, um, yes, the magic eraser didn't really work as well as I wanted it to. So I did actually just scrape it with my fingernail. And because I had soaked it all night, the paint was uh, soft, pliable, and I was able to get it off. But it, it did also take the stick off of my transfer. Um, not completely, but in the places, you know, because obviously this whole part of the transfer had no issues. It's just these little spots. So this all part sticks fine. It's just this part here of my transfer isn't, isn't the optimal amount of stickiness. So just so you know, if you're going to use a surface that's not a chalkboard or a chalk couture surface, just be conscious of how is that finish applied to what you are going to put it on. Um, and just know that when you're using, literally, you watched me take the transfer out of the box last night. And I went on and on about how this was my absolute favorite transfer in the box and how I had been waiting for it. And I had my whole stockpile of uh, surfaces to use it on. And then the second time I used it, I ruined it. But that's okay. It's not completely ruined. I salvaged it. Whew, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. So, um, would, applying wax. Very good question, Carol. I did wax it. But it's also metal, so it really isn't a waxing issue. It really is a stick issue. I could have fuzzed more, potentially, so that then it wouldn't have stuck as hard. I don't know if that would have worked or not. And I, you know, it's just one of those things, is it worth risking the transfer? Um, hang on one moment, guys. What's the matter? You don't feel good and you can't fall asleep? What doesn't feel good? Hang on, ladies, just give me one second. I have an unhappy child. You can't stop coughing? Okay. What can we take? Should we try the cold medicine? Okay, so do this. Try the cold medicine, okay? You know how much to take. Lay in my bed, and I'll be up in a few minutes, okay? Just stay in my bed, okay? Or Christopher's out there? Okay? Is that okay? Can you handle that? Huh? I don't have to rush? Oh. She's tired. She went to volleyball camp. Her brother's right there. That's a bummer because it would have been so cute, right? Debbie, it would have been so stinking cute. So anyways, Carol, the waxing, waxing really is for wood, more so. Yes, you could wax it. Um, I did 
wax it a little bit, but it was really st too sticky. That it it was so sticky it pulled the paint off. The paint, you know, these are in, this was a fourteen dollar metal bin. The paint was not applied, you know. I could have painted it myself over it, and it might have stayed better. Um, the other thing I've seen people have lots of issues with that on is chargers. Um, you know those plastic charger plate or not plastic, but yeah, some of them are plastic. But those charger plates that have the cool designs on them, a lot of that, a lot, I've, lots of people have posted that they've pulled the transfer off and the, the finish has come with it. So just be just be careful. If you have a question when you're going to purchase a surface, just message me. You can always shoot a picture and send it to me, and I can uh, help you out with my opinion. I'm by no means an expert, but I can, you know, try to help you out for, for, um, if you're going to try to do that. Okay, so we're going to do orange real quick on our little bus, and then we're going to make him white. Hey, Sherry McCormick, welcome to our chuck and party. Um, I know, Verge, I agree that those little things are so cute. Now, what I can do, and what I will do, is I will sand the paint off. I could sand the paint off and reapply my own paint. I have found my own paints, you know, don't typically have those same issues. When you use a better quality spray paint. Um, so I could totally do that. I could just paint it over it, too. Um, so I'm just making my bus white. There are registration marks on this guy. So I am going to chalk those registration marks, and then we can wash them off. So that will help me line it up when we're all done. Um, so we're just going to do this really quick because my yapping time is probably going to need to be cut short just because her daddy's not home. He's gone tonight. So she's kind of on her own. It's too bad that she doesn't feel good. Okay, so we're just going to pull up our, the bottom of our bus. Pull from the middle. Do not pull from the corner. Do not pull diagonally. Okay. I'm going to stick my transfer right in my water bath. And while we're waiting for him to dry, I'm going to do our cute little palm tree. Just to get him on and drying as well. Now I could dry it and you all... <laughs> Come on, Verge. Yell at me, Verge. You're supposed to say, Maria, you're going to stick your finger in it. Maria, you need to dry it before you uh, stick your finger in it. Because you know you're going to stick your finger in it we all know I will <laughs> so I'm gonna dry it <laughs> I can hear you bird oh and Carol you're right I didn't write the name of that one on the back either so I'm just drying my orange real quick so that I don't stick my finger in it or anything else or drop my paste in it like I did the other night right Really quick, he's dry. Need to put palm trees on the back of my palm trees. So tonight we're making this transfer the way it's meant to be made. We have, um, I've seen some super fun stuff we're gonna do with it, where we'll, we will combine other transfers with it, just because um, it just makes it so much more fun, right? You can get totally creative then. It gives you complete freedom. Um, <laughs> Virginia is more worried about my white blouse. Oh, Virginia, you're so cute. Virginia, it's chalk, it washes off. That is the beauty of chalk. Not only does it wash off of chalkboards, it washes off of clothing. <laughs> I know from experience. Virge, uh, you've watched me, Virge, right? Remember the night we, we blew the ink and I had ink? Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I, I love those projects, so. But yeah, we had ink everywhere. <laughs> a very you know I'm a pretty messy crafter all right so we are going to very quickly get our, our parakeet super bright cheery green color love this color and this is the exact color of Charlie's towel <laughs> the one that's always on the floor because <laughs> you know heaven forbid Charlie ever pick up his towel it's probably and it's usually right next to his underwear his blue jeans his socks it's so funny right because in the old house, we had one shower, one tub, one bath, you know, one main bathroom. And, uh, ooh, look at our cute little pi uh, palm, pine trees. <laughs> palm trees. Look at our cute little palm trees. See, I'm a Wisconsinite. We don't have palm trees. We have pa pine trees. Um, so in the old house, we only had one bathroom. And my big boys, 
you know, that's when they were Charlie's age. I mean, they got yelled at all the time about picking up their stuff because we were constantly in their bathroom. So the, those boys, man, they hang their towels up. They have been well trained <laughs> to hang their towels up. Charlie, on the other hand, not so much because we moved and they have their own bathroom I never go in. Thank God I never go in. Three boys use it, right? They have to clean it. They're completely responsible for it. When people come and sleep here, I clean it for a week before people come. <laughs> Nobody ever better just pop in and try to use their bathroom because that would be bad. But um, I do make them clean it before a company comes, though. And I just stand there and, and supervise. So because I never go in there, Charlie is really bad about hanging his stuff up. So then I tried the whole color coding. Then I told the big boys to take their towels and put their towels in their bathroom <laughs> so that he couldn't steal them. <laughs> or in their bedroom. They have hooks in their bedroom now. <laughs> so he can't steal their towels anymore. <laughs> but well, now what I get is I get a naked Charlie running through the, the house. Anyway, I am oversharing. Okay, so thank you, Lisa. I love these colors together too. I think it's going to be very bright and cheery. And we're going to put our little original. We're going to kind of center the original, I think, because nothing is really centered in this board. We'll offset them a little bit from each other so that they're not completely centered. And we're going to do the, these guys in blue. And then we're going to finish up our little bus, and this little bad boy is going to be done. Look at how much faster I get when a kid comes down here. <laughs> her brothers will take care of her if she needs something. I was very proud of my boys today. They worked hard at a little fundraiser for kids they don't even know. I had to promise video games, but they did it. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. <laughs> they did it. Okay, so this transfer, Surf Club, is a C size transfer. So it is 12 by 18. It is a $24.99 transfer. I'm going to confirm that in a moment. Um, and I think. There's just the little bus, the surf club, um, the palm tree. There's just so many nice pieces that are interchangeable with other things. Oh, why am I washing this off? I have more blue to do. Okay, so we're just going to do an original. So if you are interested in checking these products out, this particular transfer or any other transfer for that matter, the place that you would find that would be on www.chalkcouture.com slash Megan Maria. You can see all the things that I use there. This chalkboard is there, the squeegees, the paste, the everything. Oops, and I'm not pulling. Why am I not pulling that off? So this might be my new favorite color. This is this color is called Liberty. It's an in vogue color, which means it's uh, seasonal because it's obviously it's a very patriotic-y blue color for um, the upcoming 4th of July holiday. But it's a very bright, very beautiful blue. And what I like about this blue, it looks really nice on the black boards. Um, the navy blue is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. But look at how much darker navy blue is. And on the black boards, it's not always as visible. Again, I'm just giving it a quick dry. So that I can not worry about sticking my finger in it. I'm going to give another quick dry because this is a lot of chalk on our bus. And we are going to layer by putting the other transfers over it. So I really want to make sure that that bottom layer is dry. Because otherwise, similar to what happened with my, my major faux pas last night, the transfer will pull the paste off. So I'm just making sure it's really dry. And some of the colors are kind of fun to watch dry because they change color as they dry. They get brighter. So here, I'll show you. Like in this parakeet here. See how you can see? Oh, get rid of the glare. Maybe you can't. Maybe I can't get rid of the glare. But it dry. There you go. See it? See how you can see where it's not dry? It's darker green. So as it dries, it brightens up. Love those colors. You raised great kids. They will take care of their little sis. Yeah, they will. They will. She'd have to stand in front of them and cry, but then they would take care of her. Christopher. Yeah, they both would. 
you know, he's got senioritis. He's ready to fly the coop, although he has a very soft spot for her. Oh my goodness, he has a soft spot for her. He's decided that she's his soul sister because she, uh, they think alike. <laughs> they do, they are very alike, actually. Um, she's a little more drama-filled than he is, but that's the girl part of her. All right, so let's get our, oh, we didn't, I didn't stir up white yet. We gotta get white ready, and we'll put our white little bus, the top of our bus on, and then our wheels, and that little bad boy is done. Okay, so I'm just stirring up my white. Oh, how come you guys, oh, you guys can't see me as well. All right, so I'm just stirring my white up, making sure that it's all a good yogurt to sour cream type consistency is what you're looking for. So what do you guys think? What would you do with this transfer? I mean, I know it's going to be super cute in their bathroom. Um, but this was the one you guys voted you wanted to see made. So you guys must have had ideas about what you wanted to make with it. Would you make something fun with this? Uh, beach bag? I think Beach bag would be high on my list for this. The other thing I think this would be super cute with is the Hello Summer from the Club Couture transfer this month. I think that Hello Summer, we can just go crazy with that. Um, the other thing I think that Hello Summer would be cute with is the um, squeeze, squeeze the day. I think that's how the name of the transfer. It's lemons and stuff where you could do like lemonade um, and you could do Hello Summer. I think that Hello Summer is just pretty versatile. It would be great on a beach bag. I agree, Debbie. Totally cool on a beach bag. Or you know what else it would be cute on? Is it a towel, a beach towel. I'm curious. I've been looking at beach towels, thinking maybe we should uh, um, do a uh, a beach towel. Checking out, you know, like the nap of the the towel, the terry cloth. Would it be, you know, how well we we need to practice that? You just need a splash of bright flowers on the bus. Okay, Verge. So that's I've seen that done. That's that whole. Remember how I said the other night that they I've seen it done like the mystery machine. Um, I've seen it done a lot that way from, what, Scooby-Doo? Okay, so my little registration marks are down here, and they are helping me out. Those little registration marks, because it's really hard for you to see it, but I can see the orange in the registration mark. So that's how I know I'm lined up. So now I know my bus is in the right place. I'm getting all of my air out. Again, lots of screen to this guy. So I want to make sure I've pushed it out. Not only does it have lots of screen, it has some natural distressing with the little dots, so it's not going to be perfect when we're done. Um, and you want to make sure all those little things are pushed down. Okay, you don't have to push super hard, but you just want them. You want it. It's sealed so that your truck doesn't slide with it. Okay, so hey, Kathy, welcome to our chalk and party, Kathy. I was thinking about you today, Kathy. I actually thought about you a lot today, Kathy. What are you putting the surfboard on? I'm gonna, we're going to put the surfboard on top of our little bus. Oh, thank you for reminding me, though. We're going to put, you're right, I'm not done. We have to do the surfboard. Carol, thank you for reminding me of that. We do need, like, like little tiny flowers, right? All over the bus. I think it would be cute. It's too bad. Oh, we could do eyelashes. Have you seen those cars with the eyelashes on the lights? <laughs> there is an eyelash transfer. There's no lights, though. Okay, I'm rambling. Where am I? I'm looking for my squeegee. <laughs> um, like bright colored, right? Little peace love. Oh, a peace sign. Oh, we need a peace sign, right? Oh, is there a transfer that has a peace sign? Let me think about that. Is there a transfer that has a peace sign? I don't know if there is. I'll have to look. See if there's a peace. A little... You know, where a peace sign would be cute is in those little mini icon ones. Those little minis that we've been using to make fun stuff. Where there are the 12 of them on a page. A little peace sign in that would be super cute. I don't know if we have a peace sign. I'm going to have to think about that. That would be cool. A peace sign would be super cool. What else? I'm trying to think what else is on a VW bus. Okay, so I'm pulling slowly. I'm pulling from the middle. Oh, lady! Oh my goodness! Okay, we all need this. This oh a T-shirt. This 
a freshman boy could wear a VW bug on his shirt. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Holy cow, this is like way cuter than I even thought it was gonna be. <laughs> so I'm just drying my white so that we can do our cute little um, wheels. Right, the wheels should be gray, right? They can't, we could make them white, but. You can't do black, it's not for sure. So I'm just drying it to make sure that it's dry so that I can layer and not worry about the layers coming off. So I'm really only worried about this bottom half because nothing's gonna go over the top. So I'm just making sure he's good and dry. Well, I'll give him an extra second. I need to find my surfboard. Oh yeah. Ladies, we are outdone ourselves here with this bad boy. This is super cute. Now, I'm, I'll try to take the picture of it in their bathroom. The problem with their bathroom is their bathroom is actually painted navy blue. This, this navy, like the whole bath, well, it's half of it's white tile and half of it's navy blue. So I don't know how well the, it will show up in there. Okay, so this is the trick. Kind of fold it so you can see where you're going with it because you want to center it, but you can't always see what you're doing. I want it close but not completely oops not completely on and you can see through it you can see where the bus is I'm just gonna quick stick our little red um, surfboard up on top it's super fun oh my gosh I this thing orange but good call on the orange and white who called who called orange and white that was really a good call way better than the blue other thing would be cool would be I wonder what you could all do to the surfboard to make the surfboard cool there's not really a lot of surface to the surfboard oh yeah oh my gosh I'm in love I'm gonna have to make a bunch of these so I'm just drying my white or red sorry drying my red dry super fast and then we're just gonna stick our little gray wheels on Gray, right? Gray for the wheels? I don't know if I'm feeling the gray. Should we do white? Maybe we should do... Uh, it's too much white, if I think, if we do white. Oh, I don't know. It's two little wheels, right? <laughs> How hard can it be to make? Pick a color for two little wheels. So there's a lot of sticky surface. That is so stinking cute. Doesn't the transfer you used flower arranging have little flowers? Yes. That one we used to make that adorable little welcome sign, they're just, I don't know if they're that, I'm looking at the welcome sign over the top of you. Don't know if they're that little. And I think I would do the flowers if I was going to put this in Ella's bathroom, but I don't know if the flowers would go in the boys' bathroom. What do you think? Flowers on a boy's one? Because this is really the colors. So this one too has the cute little registration marks in it. It's going to help me line it up. So I get our wheels in the right place. The biggest problem is going to be which direction do the wheels go in, right? Clearly not that way because in the orange. So my number three is upside down. Okay, so again, I just line this up right into my, this. they really make this as easy as possible. You do not have to be crafty, ladies. You do not have to be perfect. You do not have to be... I mean, you all watch me do this. They make this Maria proof. <laughs> and so if Maria can do this, anybody can do this. So see, look, now it's easier to see because my registration marks are white. Can you see, and hopefully it, I'm going to trans focus in there. See how you can see the white through that crosshairs? That's how you know you're lined up. And I'm just, the only part I'm pushing down is around my wheel. I'm not pushing the rest of this down. Because I don't want it. Um, ooh, that's a cute one too. The one about editing. Uh, your life is your story. Write well, edit often. That has a lot of cute little flowers on it too. The flowers that go in the back of the pickup truck are small enough. The spring pickup truck? Or the summer? I haven't used the summer one. I don't know if there's flowers for the summer one. 
But do, would you put flowers on a VW bus that's going in a boys' bathroom? I can totally see that. Like, I we should oh, we should do this in a pale. We'll make our own color, like a lavender and white in Ella's purple bedroom that she doesn't sleep in because <laughs> she sleeps with her brother. That would be cute. Oh my gosh, ladies, the possibility. Yeah, I think it's the spring one. All those crazy buses had flowers, boys and girls. Really? I don't know. I don't think my 18-year-old would appreciate flowers. Spring, I think. Yeah, I think it was the spring one. It had all those flowers. But I'll pull up my... I got my transfers right here next to me. So we just got our wheels on. Okay, again, I'm going to careful. Oh, I don't mind them in gray. Okay, ladies, really? This is so much fun. I love... I, I, I love doing this. This is so much fun. This is always so much fun. This is like the highlight of my day. Other than, you know, my amazing husband and amazing children. <laughs> okay, so now I have my little registration marks. I'm all done with them. I just wash them right off. Okay. They helped me out. They served their purpose, but they are done. Okay. Now, if we did flowers, our options would be... I'll let you know the whole, the binder of all binders that has everything in it. I'll try not to, my stuff is not all dry, so. Well, we have Happiness Blooms from Within. This one is kind of big, though. See this one? It's kind of big. Ooh, didn't I just say it's not dry? Darn it, Maria. Dry it. You're gonna stick something in it. it takes, look, it takes two seconds to dry. Okay, what else we got for flowers? We need like, you know, the the hippy dippy flowery. Like this one, exactly, only littler, right? Where is my right well right, edit often? You never know. They could be anywhere, people. <laughs> It's always amazing to me that we we did this already there and it's not in here. I have to have put it in. I use that transfer all the time. Because it's it's a really nice piece because it does have all those flowers attached to it. So it is not in here. Don't worry! <laughs> There's more. We need little flowers. Little itty bitty flowers. Oh, I said we were going to play a game, didn't I? That's when I, I'm sorry, I got distracted by Elle. I'm not hearing anything upstairs, so things must be okay. I don't, does Wander Wild and Free have flowers? I agree, Virg. This is one of my faves, too. I, this one has flowers, too, but I think they're all attached to each other. not bad a bad choice he's little but he needs he needs the like scallopy things right okay so that's a possibility what color would you guys make the flowers see like this one I think this is another really nice piece that would go with this blessed are the curious for they shall have adventures over our cute little bus so you know because obviously I don't live in a, a place that my boys would be surfing necessarily okay where the heck are those crazy Ooh, we could do the sweet spring flowers this was a club couture this one oh here oh here we go life in uh, enjoy the journey look at these cute little guys like this one or this one that those are oh there we go those are the perfect size Okay, so what kind of book is it that I keep my transfers in? Okay, so Carol, these are um, artist portfolios. I bought them off of Amazon. I think they were 11 bucks. Not, they were not expensive books. Um, I've kind of learned, because I own several of these, to try to keep them organized by size. I have this little one. This is the 8x10. And 
what I put in here are the five by seven ones, but I've learned that this could I could easily hold the B size transfers. These, I mean, it's it's made for this size, so I would not be opposed to putting them in here. But I had already bought bigger ones. My problem with the bigger ones is because they don't they don't fill the whole space. Like this one has been well loved. I put too many trans you can't see. I put too many transfers in, so I've had to tape the bottoms of them. These are bent. But this is a year old and con almost a year old and constant flipping through. So I think this little if you're only buying A size and B size transfers, this little size is perfect. If you oh and Carol, this is you. Okay, so Carol, what you need is hang on. Two seconds. I'm just gonna grab it because it's right here. Um, and I think a couple of you guys have these. You need uh, I'm gonna hold it up for you, Carol. Alright, so this is a tote bag and it's a, a pretty heavy vinyl. It's made for transporting transfers. But they store in here super nice. And the A's and the B size transfers fit in this pocket in the front. And the C, C's, D's, and E's, which is the all the vintage truck add-ons, Carol, fit in here. So this is just a nice way to just hang it up, store them, and it helps you with the big size transfers. The books are nice for the little ones. My big size transfers, I take the camera down and show you. I have... Um, command hooks everywhere <laughs> and I hang them I, they, they're back in their packages and they're hung and then when I get into the big craft room where people come I actually have a um, rack like a display rack that my husband bought me for my birthday that's those black those grid walls and they're hung in there the ones people use so that's how I store it the big ones if you're you're not gonna if you're not going to own as many E-size transfers, like I own every E-size transfer, this and they would fit in this bag. This bag holds a ton of them. Um, it's just a nice way to keep them all in one place when you don't have a lot of storage. So I think these little flowers would be a good size to put all over our yellow. Oh, oh, sorry. You guys are talking to me. Okay. Hot mess. Red, purple, yellow. Yellow, bright red, bright blue, those will work. Lisa, you mean those colors will work? So maybe we should tie in the red and the blue more and do red and blue. Because again, I want it to match the, their bathroom. So I don't want to bring in more colors. Because this bathroom is <laughs> very navy blue. <laughs> so we could stick a few little guys on here. Like everywhere this is where okay I'm, I'm not I was born in the 60s but I'm not a child of the 60s <laughs> I was too little in the 60s to know I'm too young in the early 70s well or don't just simply don't remember <laughs> either where do you put the flowers ladies where do you put the flowers and just how many of them do we just put them all over I mean, we could put one towards the front, right? Put a cute little red flower right there. I know there's a delay, but you ladies are quiet all of a sudden on my flowers. <laughs> and I didn't fuzz this. So, I think he needs one kind of on his hip, right? We would call this the hip. We'll put one right there. We're going to start there while I wait for you guys. Yes, all. <laughs> Debbie, liver, all liver. I know you mean all over, but. <laughs> Sometimes it's kind of fun to pick on you guys and your typing skills as much as I pick, try to pick on myself with the, you know, blah, 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 that comes out of my mouth that makes no sense half the time. All right, so we got a cute little red guy right here. Thank you Carol you can't see the bus <laughs> we well, put a little red flower right here no wonder you're not commenting ladies you can't see what the heck I'm doing okay that's cute Debbie didn't have her glasses on <laughs> oh that is
is funny, ladies. Oh my gosh. You know, really, everybody should have as much fun as we have. Right? Just our enjoyable little time together every day. <laughs> Having fun. All right, so I got two so far. I'm going to have to wash them if we're going to keep using the same one. We could change the size of them and go to the blue one. Honestly, I wouldn't use the flower. It looks amazing for the boys as it is. Darn it, Lisa. I darn that delay. <laughs> because I don't want to do the flowers either. I think for the boys' bathroom, it doesn't need the flowers. But I don't mind them now that they're on here. We're going to put one little blue one on and be done. Because I don't want to flower it all up. Because Christopher's already, like, too mature for flowers. <laughs> all right, so let's get this. We'll put one little blue one on. We'll put a little blue one right here. And then we're going to be done with the flowers. Hopefully it'll still look okay. Little blue guy. That's not so bad. He's too even, though. This is against my better judgment, just see. But when, once you once you commit, ladies, you gotta go big or go home, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. My sister will be proud. We're doing it in odd numbers. What do you think? They're too light. They're not lined up right. I don't like the way they're lined up. They're too samey, samey. But I don't want to go too much more crazy with them either. <sighs> Oops, and now I just stuck my blue squeegee in my red. All right, we're making this guy red. I have no idea what that color's going to come out as, but we're making him red. I stuck the wrong squeegee color in. Oh, he's kind of tie-dyed. He actually looks kind of cool. All right, we're just gonna, we gotta do an even number. Since we got these colors on my squeegee, I'm just gonna keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven now. Gotta have an odd number, right, Verge? Who made these crazy rules up? That's just like the whole no white clothes before Memorial Day and makes this stuff up so these this guy is actually turning out kind of purple because he's the yellow and the red combined or yellow blue and red combined all right one more we need a red one and then of course i put him in my water bath just gonna pull him out i'm gonna wash off my squeegee because my squeegee is purple at the moment because it made purple they are just random and wild, right? Free bird. <laughs> I'm a 60s child, right? Okay, so I am washing off my squeegee because I don't want him to be purple anymore. And I'm making a huge mess because I had a bunch of ink or a bunch of chalk on my squeegee. And instead of putting the wipe on the squeegee, I put my fingers. So again, don't <laughs> learn from me. So I'm just wiping, drying off my transfer real quick because we need, I think we need another red one. And we'll put the red guy right there. And my transfer is still a little wet, so we'll see if he's going to pull the paste up with him. Wouldn't that be sad if at this point it ruined the whole darn thing? But then I would just wash the orange off and redo the orange with no flowers. All right. That's our bus. It's kind of cute. I liked it better just orange. That's okay. We'll see what the boys say. All right, so here's our cute little bus. Ooh, look at how yellow he looked when I when I do. Ooh, he'd be cute in yellow. <laughs> look at how yellow that looked. It's really orange. Got the focusing ability. Change the color. All right, so here is our super cute and adorable little surf club. I've heard rumors. I they could be completely false because they are just rumors that he's going to have little add-ons to him. I don't know if that's true or not. And we should probably put the pi uh, pine tree. It's not a pine tree. We should have put the um, this thing over closer, I think. 
move him over. Verge says, was thinking Venus Beach Flower Children were the VW Bus Kids. Venus Beach Flower Children. What's that, Verge? The Venus Beach Flower Children. Is that, was that a group? Was that a movie? Was that Venus Beach Club Beach Flower? Venice, Venice Beach. Venice? Venice Beach Flower Children. Or VW. I think that's what you mean, Verge. I don't know, it's late. Looks awesome, I agree. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is super fun. Thank you, ladies, for picking a transfer. <laughs> And helping a sister out. Because, you know, it's like, what do you want for dinner? <laughs> Honey? <laughs> Venice. Yep, Venice Beach. Flower children. I've been there. When I was little. With my Aunt Josephine in a bikini. Never going to see that day again. <laughs> All right, this is our cute little project. Super cute. Love it. Oh, my gosh. So I will try to take a picture of it in the bathroom. If it doesn't work, I'll put it in my usual spot that has nice lighting <laughs> so that you can actually see the colors the way they're meant to be seen. But super cute. I'm glad we did the bigger board because I think it gave us more options. And we could totally put more palm trees too to kind of, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should do another set of palm trees to try to fill in the space a little bit. I'll take a look at it in the morning and see if I think we need uh, another palm tree. Or what do you guys think? Should we put another palm tree? We could do, you know, we don't have to put the whole, you know, we could kind of put it here, just here. I don't know, you guys. Let me know if you think we need a palm tree. But thank you for watching me. Have a wonderful evening. I need to go check on Ella, make sure she's okay. So I'm going to go do that. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Please share my video. Our thankful Thursday video, which is yesterday's video, which was the boxes and the big opening up of the boxes, is pretty close to 10 shares. So if you haven't shared that video and you have watched the replay, please go back and watch that one. Because um, when it hits 10 shares, we will play a fun game. And tomorrow night, I'm Footloose and Fancy Frey, I think. Not sure what time my husband's coming home. If I get a chance, I'll make a video tomorrow because then I probably won't make one on Mother's Day. Because, you know, you all should be with your families on Mother's Day. So, I'm rambling. Shocking. I know. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful night. I'm making Maria. Oh, we need the ocean. <gasps> Verge, you're right. We need the ocean. Uh, now I'm going to have to think about if we have an ocean one. We do need the ocean. Right kind of in the background, right? We need the ocean. Oh, there's a wave one. We'd have to piece it back and forth, but there's a wave one. We could do that. We could put the ocean. This is a super cute little bus. I love the bus. I'm going to be a total addict now on the bus. I think he's going to be super cute on t-shirts. We have to make t-shirts, right? I think we should make them on t-shirts that say, hello, summer, right? Hello, summer. Okay. Again, rambling. I'm making Maria, your independent Chuck Couture designer. We're going to play with this a little bit more, but this is our super cute little bus, and we're going on adventures. So this is our first time of making him. We're going to make him in all kinds of different ways because I think that this is so much fun. Hey, I'm, I'm rambling again, so I'm saying goodnight. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Hit that share button. I'm making Maria, your independent chocolate designer. Happy Saturday. See ya Saturday. <laughs> Bye.